All right, let's take this big picture for a little bit. Obviously, Nate Sudfeld, a very impressive performance last week against New England. I'm Fran Duffy, joined by Mike Mayock from the Eagles preseason broadcast. And Mike, let's take a big picture, like I said, and look at pocket awareness for a young quarterback. What exactly are you looking for from some of these young signal callers in the pocket? You know, the more I watch college quarterbacks and their transition into the NFL, the more I believe that maybe the most critical component, forget about arm strength and all that other stuff, is the ability to operate within an NFL pocket, knowing when to slide, when to move, when to get the football out. I think one of the best in the league is Drew Brees. Yeah. I love watching him manipulate the pocket. Now, young quarterbacks can get skittish. You get the good with the bad. And we're gonna show you two plays. One that I think is outstanding, and another play where he left the touchdown on the field out there. Let's take a look at both of them. Yeah, so we're gonna start with this play. This is around midfield, and really what you're gonna see, this ball's gonna go to DeAndre Carter, the wide Correct. receiver. But before we get to that point, let's let's get to see what happens here so with stop the it, Stop it for a second. We've got five players here that are going to come from New England, okay? But what's going to happen is Kyle Van Noy right here is going to contact the safety and then come on a delayed linebacker twist. When you do that, the guard and the tackle are coming down, and it's going to be up to Hart, Taylor Hart, to see this very complicated twist. And watch what Taylor Hart does. It's pretty cool. So stop it. All of his attention is right here. He thinks he's got his guy washed and his job is done. But look at Van Noy, who right now isn't even in his frame, right? Watch Van Noy cross his face. And as he crosses his face, Taylor Hart goes, uh-oh. And he spins like a defensive back and just barely gets hands on. That's a great job. Awesome. That's a right tackle who sees a flash of color, realizes what it is, and picks up a complicated stunt. That's outstanding. Now, the second thing is we talk about running a route. Yep. Okay, and this is a young receiver trying to make a football team, DeAndre Carter. He's going to take the defensive back and man coverage up the field to make him think it's vertical. And then when he gets enough inside lean on him, he's going to use a pick from the guy's own player. Watch him get up the field. And now that's when he extends, accelerates, and, and separates. That's really a cool little route by DeAndre Carter. Yeah, I mean, you see him sell that. You said you mentioned it going upfield. He's really selling that vertical stem. He's going to initially break towards the middle of the field, and then watch. You can almost see it from this angle riding up the hash as he's able to get vertical, and then you just see that suddenness at the top of the break. He's able to break away. And what you want is the separation right there. The flash, yep. the separation, it makes it easier for your quarterback. And now the third and most important part of this is the quarterback and his pocket awareness. Sudfeld's gonna hang in this pocket. It's five on five blocking. We talked about Hart. They're getting a good push in here. This looks like he's coming free and they're getting some pretty good push, but Sudfeld hangs in the pocket, hangs in it and flat footed. Look at the throw, a snap throw flat footed under heavy pressure. Those are the plays that make or break young quarterbacks in the NFL. If you can do that consistently, you're gonna make a lot of money and win a lot of games. Now, the very <laughs> next throw is the opposite. Now, Carter's gonna come in motion and their Patriots are only gonna rush four and it's a really good pocket. However, Nate sees a little flash here and watch when your feet go flat and you squat, when you drop your hips right there, you're done. Quarterback is done. He's got no shot. He's going flat footed. He's dropped his hips. His eyes are down. He can't make a play. And what's happening while he's not looking is all of a sudden DeAndre Carter is breaking free on a crossing route. And that's the primary receiver. That's a touchdown. And he ends up having to throw it away. So pocket awareness makes or breaks young quarterbacks. And on consecutive pass plays, you can see Nate Sudfeld look like an all pro. And then on the very next snap, he still has something to learn. So in your experience, when you see those young quarterbacks and they show those flashes, how often is it that you kind of chalk that up as, hey, this is a natural poise in the pocket, or hey, we, with reps, we can get this guy to improve in this area? I think when a kid throws innate, shows innate toughness, you say, we can teach this a little bit. He's willing to hang in the pocket. When he gets skittish and his eyes come down too often, you get nervous. But I have not seen much of that from Nate. A lot of good flashes here from yep. Nate Sudfeld. Something good to watch here for the rest of the summer.